age 24, Taria Pitt was an ex-model, fitness fanatic and successful mining engineer whose life was turned upside down. Runners taking part in an extreme marathon in the Kimberley were caught in a raging bushfire. In 2011, she suffered burns to 65% of her body and endured six months in hospital. Her now fiancé, Michael Hoskin, left his job as a police officer to care for Taria and together they built an extraordinary life. This is It Takes Two. We got together like several years after high school. Taria was at uni up here and I was working in Sydney, so it was probably yeah, three or four years after high school. Taria was really energetic and she was such a, um, a happy person to be around. She always had a laugh and uh, she made me feel good about myself. So yeah, she was beautiful. He was my oldest brother's really good friend. And so as you do, I, I had a really big crush on him ever since I was younger. <laughs> I just saw that he, he had a heart of gold. He was really generous and he was also really kind and I, I thought they were great qualities for me to be around. I think when people go through adversity, or I like to call it the hard times, you get a real understanding of people's true characters. And you know, if I look at our lives before my accident, we were young, we, we'd only been together for like a year and a half. You know, he was there at the hospital Every morning without fail, at seven o'clock, he'd stay with me all day until seven at night. And he'd do that the next day and the next day and the next day and the day after. He was reliable, he was consistent, he was committed, he was real, he was solid, he didn't bullshit me. He had a great sense of humour, he could make me laugh. He, he could tell if I was feeling sad or if I was feeling down. So I think, in a way, if I didn't go through my accident, maybe I never would have seen those qualities in Michael. I realised how strong she was as a person, obviously, be to see her physically uh, get through every day, which was quite, it was really sickening and sad to see somebody that you loved go through that. So that was quite the obvious one. And then as she got better, to see her want to learn everything and anything about life was beautiful. I've changed, I've learnt that the most important thing in our world is our relationships with each other. Just to have people around me who who believed in me and who believed in what, believed in that I, I could get better and that I had the strength and the determination to be able to do it. I remember I said to my Michael and mum, I said, oh, when this is all over, I want to do an Ironman and an Ironman it's like the epitome of endurance events. They didn't say, you know, that's, that's silly. The doctor said, you might not be able to run again. They said, wow, like what an awesome goal. I did an Ironman and I did the Ironman World Championship. So that was an amazing achievement for me because I'd, I'd set my mind to do something and I'd put in the work and I achieved it. Like with anything in life, you, you can never achieve something really big by yourself. You know, you always need people around you supporting you and, and helping you to get there. From seeing her on, you know, in the hospital where she was incapable of sort of being independent and then seeing her, you know, this totally independent woman conquering a goal, it was an amazing feeling, yeah, that you don't get much better than that. I feel like at, at my core, I'm still the same person. I've always been really stubborn. I've always been really determined. I've always set my mind to things and, and, and done the work and been able to achieve things. When people tell me things can't be done, that makes me even more compelled. What was it like meeting your son for the first time? I always knew Evie, that I wanted to have a family with Michael. But I mean, Huckabye is like a year and a half old now, and I think we're pretty good at being parents. I feel like look, I'm enjoying experience, the simple things in the world that are there, you know, because at one stage I didn't think as a couple we might experience those. So to be able to travel, to be able to go down the beach, to be able to hold our child, uh, those things are beautiful and I never forget about, you know, there was times in our life where I thought that wouldn't happen. We are very different because we're, you know, 10 years older, we've learned a lot about ourselves, we've grown. 
So we try really hard not to get caught up in the small stuff and we, and we try really hard to be grateful for this amazing opportunity that's life that we get to have every single day. When I see people who have been through trauma and come out on the other end uh, happy and again that makes me feel amazing because we've experienced that and I know how they must feel in life. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.